Hi, this is Ashley back with another exclusive, and this is on the pop girls in the music business. Who has the most power and connections, okay? Um, before we get into the exclusive, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Um, we're going to start off with Taylor Swift. Now, as you guys know, Taylor Swift has been in the music business for like 10 years at least. Since she was like 15 or 16 years old. Um, currently, I got back that Taylor Swift doesn't really have um, that much power in the music business or industry. Um, she used to be one of the um, industry favorites when it comes to the pop girls. But it has switched to another pop girl. Um, reason being is because allegedly from what I got back is that Taylor Swift could be hard to deal with, okay? Not saying that she's a mean person or that she is, you know, you know, difficult, but some people just don't like working with Taylor Swift. They feel like, you know, she does have a little bit of uh, attitude or she's on her high horse. She also has fell out with a lot of people in the music business, Scooter Braun, Justin Bieber, her on and off relationship with Katy Perry and a lot of different executives behind the scenes really don't care for Taylor Swift like that. But Taylor Swift has put a lot of artists on. Um, she co-signed Shawn Mendes, if you guys know who that is. He is a pop singer. And she also co-signed Olivia Rodrigo, okay, recently. Giving her co-sign, a lot of her fans, because she does have a big fan base, will support that artist. Um, she also is one of the few artists that are able to go number one and sell a million copies first week. She just doesn't have a lot of friends in the industry, okay? People think that she has, you know, an attitude problem and that she is, you know, cocky. And she has every right to be when you go and sell a million first week. You have that right to be cocky because who's doing that? Moving on to Katy Perry. Um, what I got back was that Katy Perry had fell out with people at Vicon, certain executives at Vicon. That's why they stopped promoting her. Um, as you can see, she's not really being pushed like that, like how she used to be. Also, I was told that people were not too happy about her support um, that she gave Kesha. You know, when Kesha has spoke out about certain things she had experienced in the music business. So a lot of people weren't too happy about that behind the scenes. Also, Katy Perry had fell out with Taylor Swift when Taylor Swift was, you know, at the height of her career. And then she did the record with Nicki Minaj after people told her not to. So she had developed a reputation of being insubordinate. And so the executives basically have turned their backs on Katy Perry. Hopefully things could turn around for Katy. I hope that happens. Anyway, moving on to Ariana Grande, who is the favorite right now in pop music. Okay, she is the favorite. Um, she has a lot of backing behind her and she has an unlimited budget. Okay. Now, if you don't know what an unlimited budget is at a label, when you sign to a record company, having an unlimited budget means that you don't have to worry about certain spending limits when it comes to music videos, photo shoots, um, you know, dancers, tour, you know, I heard that Ariana Grande and Drake can just call up Lucian to get their budget extended. And Lucian loves Ariana Grande. Lucian is the CEO of Universal Music Group, which is under Republic, okay? And 
he loves Ariana Grande and The Weeknd and Drake, okay? Because they make him a lot of money. So it makes sense. Also, Scooter Braun has blacklisted 6 9 due to him talking bad about Ariana Grande and alluding to Payola being the reason why Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber's song was so successful, okay? If you guys remember that, that happened last year with his first single that he came out with, which was Gooba, okay? Now we're going to move on to Rihanna, okay? Rihanna was supposed to be one of the gatekeepers in the industry, but she ain't released no music. So she can't have no power in the industry when it comes to music. But when it comes to the fashion world, Rihanna has a lot of pull. She actually took away Drea Michelle's Savage X Fenty deal, okay, because of what she said to Megan or about Megan in regards to the Tory Lane situation, okay? A lot of people in the fashion world um go to rihanna for inspiration okay and she has a lot of connections they also want like i told you guys before they want asap rocky and rihanna to be a power couple after they tried to get her and drake to basically replace the carters but it didn't really work so now they're trying to push for her and asap rocky which I don't really think is going to work. But hopefully, you know, Rihanna settle down and get married like she wants to. Because that's one of the things that she wants to accomplish is being a mother and a wife. Now moving on to Beyonce. Beyonce has a lot of pull in the music business. And she is Partially the reason why Chloe Bailey now is getting a lot of clout. Beyonce has close connections to a lot of executives. The executives at Atlantic and Columbia love Beyonce. Okay. And she never goes against the grain or speaks out on anything. Also, her husband, Camel Face, is a gatekeeper. So that also gives her more power. And until they are replaced, they're going to still hold their power in the music business. Kanye even said in his rant back in 2016 that Mrs. Carter said that she would not perform at the MTV Music Awards if she did not receive um, the award for best video, video of the year, okay? That is power. Who else can really do that? Only her. I don't know nobody else that could pull those strings. Taylor, Ariana, none of those chicks can get away with that. But Mrs. Carter can. So she has the most power. Okay, so that's what the exclusive is for you guys today. If you like this exclusive, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This exclusive is strictly for entertainment purposes only, and I hope you have a great day.